get to see my true opinions of... Let's move it up here a bit. Repungent Bounty. I'm actually really excited for this. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. One million years ago, a certain star was at the climax of its life. The radiation produced by the star changed the people who relied on it. Finding a new place to call home was their only option. One thousand ships left in search of new worlds. But none returned. Dun dun dun! How long did it take you to make this, by the way? I know you've been working on it for years. The people on the planet changed more and more as their environment became hostile. They even became nearly immortal. Despite that, an unforeseen threat wiped them all out. All except... Samus. All except one. A year and eleven months. Wow. I bet you learnt a lot. Artificial planet. Irulia. Nice atmospheric effect. I'm hype. That is very, very Metroid 2. Very Metroid 2. I have to say, I love the animation. The effects are great, yeah. And wow, the animation's so good too. I, I even like the little Metroid 2 style bar at the bottom. Yeah, let's do this. Do we have the map? Okay, we have an inventory screen with some really nice artwork. And we also press select to see an item menu too. Okay. Nice, nice use of layers there, going behind the scenery. Looks enough apart to keep Nintendo away. Yeah, although although it's like, uh, yeah, th this is whatever the latest one you sent me on Discord. Yeah, Revision B. Is that the right one? Or have you got a more up-to-date version? Ooh, was there someone there? That's good, okay. Ooh, am I being locked in? It begins. It's like that cave game that I played before. Is that an item? Yeah, Polar Edge. Cool. Even got a nice little jingle. Uh, okay, do I need to select it? No. Alright, we got it. Could have done with the sound effect. I don't know if that's possible. Revision C is added, is in the works. Yeah, a sound effect for when you swing the sword would be good. But anyway, let's press on. I'm not here to pick at it, I'm here to enjoy it. Nice, yeah, very Metroid with the uh, vertical platforms. Is that a way down there? Okay, I've found some sort of lift, I think. We'll come back there later. Yeah, honestly, I could see this being on the Switch. Oh, nice! Got some parallax scrolling going on. I love the, the lightning and the thunder. That's a really nice atmospheric touch. I have to say, for it, considering this was Game Boy Studio, the controls are a lot better than a lot of the platformers I've played on it. Like, look at that. I could not do that on a lot of games. <coughs> okay. I won't hold back. Oh, ah, ah, okay, that was my own fault. Oh, it looks like I can go down there. No. Oh dear. That's embarrassing. Do I have the sword? Oh no. I'm back to square one. Alright, let's have a look on the other side. There must be something on the left. Right. If this is a good Metroidvania, there's something on the left. Ah, there is later, when I get the... Uh, High jump. Oh, the screw attack.
yeah, while, while we're playing this, um, Skittles, why don't you give us a bit of background as to like how you came up with the game and, you know, what what you were trying to achieve, you know, while you were making it and stuff like that. That'd be really interesting to hear the actual developer's point of view while we're playing. While I get back to where I just was. Use some plugins for UI. Yeah, the UI seems really good, actually. I'm very impressed. If if I didn't know this was Game Boy Studio, I'd probably say this was in GBDK or something. Yeah, the item jingle's good. Okay, you were working on another game. Another Game Boy game? Or a game in a different engine? There we go, some good platforming there. It was a Game Boy game too. What happened to that? Did you give up on it or was that released? Oh no. It's not working on that door. I'll need to come back with missiles. It looks like there's some hooks on the ceiling as well. Are they for a grapple hook? It's even got stereo music. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Extreme feature creep. And had no real direction. What kind of game was Luna? Okay, so blue... Blue doors are for this. Platformer RPG combo. Yeah, I think I just saw something walking past in the background. And what is that? No power. Okay, we'll come back there later then. Ooh, we're in a new area. We found a lift in true Metroid fashion. Are we going to go and get the... Uh, are we going to go down and get the morph ball on the left? No. Oh, okay, got something. I'm not sure what we got then though, and it went straight to the item screen with nothing selected. What did I get then? An energy tank? Metroid 2 was my first Metroid game as well. I got completely lost in it as a kid. More HP. Cool. Oh, we got something new. Yeah, you've definitely nailed the atmosphere. Okay, what have we got here? Polar shot. Okay, there it is. I have to pause the game each time something's added or removed to the inventory, otherwise it bugs out. Oh, okay. That explains why it's going back to this. It'd be good if you could select the ones at the top as well. And give like a little description about them, like Metroid. Because I got that, but I don't know what it does. Or how to use it. Oh, okay. Maybe it's going to teach me. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. When you try to save, the game might crash. That's not good. Oh, we got enemies. Wow. Uh, okay. Oh, they're they're just they're just background creatures then. That's cool. Save the animals. 
Or save the frames. What did the polar shot do? I don't seem to have anything different. No wall jump. No Super Metroid style wall jump. Hit select. Oh. Okay, that, that could be a bit more obvious that you need to press select to change weapons. Is there any ammo or is it unlimited? Yeah, the music's awesome. I'm guessing that's some sort of health up. Yeah, the music's really good. I'm so impressed by this, just on a technical level as well. Like The fact that this is running in GB Studio is insane. Okay, we found another elevator, but let's explore a bit more first. It'd be nice if there was some collectibles that come out of the enemies. I don't know if it's just because these ones don't have any. Okay, I think the lift's turned off. Oh, cool! We got a boss fight! Ah, he's fast! Whoa! Yeah, this music's awesome. Ah! Where am I going to continue from? Oh, that wasn't a checkpoint. No. Okay, you'll have to teach me how to save, Skittles. I thought that stick that, that was making all that noise was saving. I thought it was a checkpoint. Okay. Chat amongst yourselves. I'll get back there. You're not going to let me pick it up. Okay, that was weird. Right. When I get back to it, tell me where the save room is then, before we get to that boss. I'll try and speed run this. If I remember where I went. Yeah, there was someone walking through there as well. I missed that the first time round. I didn't miss anything, did I? I feel like I missed something. Past the save platform. Where's the save platform? Back up here. Oh, it's that thing up there. Right. Got it. I'll come back here then.
Anything made by Diablo Head. What games did they make? Okay, we got the puzzle shot again. And now the power is going to come back on. So I should go back up the way I just came and go back to that save point. Ah, uh, if I don't die on the way. Oh, what's in here? We haven't been through this door. Oh, there's one right there. There we go. Game saved. Yay. Cool. I'll do it twice just in case. Ah. Now reload the save because I just got hit. All right. Now we're making progress. I have to say, I love the ambience and the atmosphere of it. Just the fact that there's just butterflies floating around in the background, and I don't know what that is, but I like the fact that it's there. <laughs> just nice little things like that. And these ones running around, so that's cute. Okay. That's just refilled my life, right? That hasn't done anything else. It's not a checkpoint. I'll remember that. It's not a checkpoint. Oh yeah, that's probably going to happen a lot in this game. I'll get distracted and end up going somewhere else. So, uh, what other what other Metroidvanias do you draw, do you enjoy, or you drew inspiration from? Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but there was one that I played maybe in 2020, which I think you would really like. Um, it's a it's like an 8-bit metroidvania where you can transform into different animals. I can't remember the name of it though. Begins with an M, I think. Okay, we're back. Can I hit him from here? Ah! No way! No way. Okay. That was too easy. Uh, is anything going to happen? Oh yeah, Cave Story is a classic. Momodora, that's the game I'm thinking of. You should check that one out if you haven't seen it already. Okay, he's dead, but I didn't get anything. Ow. What about if I died from that then? That would be embarrassing. Ah, uh, maybe? It says 27 there, and it says 1 out of 28 there. 27 left. So it is like Metroid 2. Cool. I'm guessing they they get, like, bigger and stronger as you're going through the game. I think it might be good if you did a little cutscene there to show the number going down. Or, like, I don't know, a little cutscene of the enemy dying and, like, the number going from 27 to 20. Six or whatever. Give it a bit more impact rather than it just disappearing. But it's still cool though. Uh, right, what's going on here? I'm guessing I need to come back here with a different power up as well. Yeah, maybe scramble the numbers up or make them like flick through all of them before it lands back on on the one before it. If you can. I don't know how limited you are in this engine. Or like when you kill it, like make the screen flash and make a bit more of a a statement about it. Give it a bit more impact. Completely remake the game, like a like a director's cut.
Remake it in 3D and higher Mercury Steam. Don't go there yet. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, you've got the you've got the foundation here for something really good. You could definitely elaborate on it and you know make it for modern consoles and things. Definitely. Try having a look at Godot or Game Maker or something. They they're really good at two D games. And not that hard to learn either. Oh, I'm back here again. Oh wow, that sounds pretty cool actually. I think that might be difficult to implement on the Game Boy though. But yeah, maybe if you've got more powerful hardware you could pull it off. Uh, I found another dead end. I feel like I should be drawing a map as I'm playing. I know there were some spots uh, in the first area where I can go now I've got the gun. No! How did you design all the rooms? Did you have them all drawn out or did you do it all in the game engine? Like, how did you plan where everything should be in relation to each other? That's always something I thought I would really struggle with if I was to make a Metroidvania. Is just the overall layout of everything. If you go see the bunnies sleeping and stay looking at them, you can wake one up. Oh, cool. <gasps> I found one! Okay, move! Let me on! I see that little ledge. Oh no! Ah, oh, I pushed my lock there, didn't I? Okay, you need some iframes. I felt I feel like I had all my hits taken at once then. Right, I need to go and fight that first one again though. I should have come back to save. You did the tile placement in Manga Studio? What? <laughs> I, did, I didn't expect to hear that. No. Oh my god. That must have taken way longer than it should have. Why did you use Manga Studio? <laughs> you knew tiles existed. You tiles. Yeah, maybe some sort of knockback when you get hit. Or both. Knockback can be a bit frustrating in a platformer if you're like right on the edge of something. Thinking of Mega Man 1 compared to Mega Man 2. But yeah, you, maybe something something when you get hit. It was funny. I feel like you were just torturing yourself. Apparently. Well, whatever works for you, I guess. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Where's the boss? I've gone the wrong way. Up here. You have to remember, the game is always easy for the developer, because they know it off by heart. So you should always turn the game difficulty down a little bit. And then it will still probably be too hard for some people. 
But you have to remember, because you've got used to it as you were making it and testing it, you'll always want to add more and more challenge. I know a lot of people that fell into that trap on their first games. But that one is definitely not too hard. There we go. We're going to go back and save. Ah! Oh, I couldn't see because I was adjusting the... I was adjusting the volume on the screen. God damn it. Okay. Well, I know where to go now. Pretend none of that just happened. That's what happened with Rogue Squadron. Yeah, I know I know quite a few games where that's happened. Beating the bosses later. Yeah, it's easy to do because if you are playing the game over and over again, you just become numb to its difficulty and you have to keep increasing it. Anyway, let's go fight him again. Alright, let's go. Da, 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 da. I love the music there. I love the little jingle when you beat him. You can get all the items and upgrades before beating two bosses. That's pretty interesting that even big studios fall for that. Right, so that way I think I couldn't get to yet because it was all underwater, if I remember right. The final boss is very challenging. I think I saw you post about that one on Twitter, is that the one that you said you'd been playing in slow motion or something. I'm gonna go and save. There's a save room up here somewhere, isn't there? It looked really cool though, I have to say. The final boss did look really cool. Oh, is this another dead end room? Yeah, I've been here already. <coughs> oh yeah, that's where the power-up was. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 1... Well, Donkey Kong Country 2 actually is is ridiculously difficult. There we go. Save! Yay! Making progress. Unless it crashes when I try to load it. You have to remove a lot of the target enemy types due to the projectile suddenly not having collision. That's weird. Do you think it was a sprite limit? Ah! I got too scared then. Ah! ah! I'm scared. Is it better to use the gun or the sword on that enemy? Nintendo's first party games have perfect difficulty curves, I think. Except maybe Mario Sunshine. I don't know... I don't know what they did on that game, but it seems a lot more difficult. Oh my god! Oh, 
I feel like I can't turn around fast enough when I'm trying to hit things. Yeah, you can tell they rushed Sunshine. It's kind of unpolished, which is really weird for Nintendo. Okay, that's working better. Oh my god, you haven't given me much room to work with here. You know what you should do, Skittles? You should upload a um, developer's like run-through of the game, a playthrough, to show people how, how you can really do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they went wrong with Sunshine. I did, I did get all the blue coins back in the day, but man, it was, it was so frustrating, because you, you don't know what part of the level you need to go to to get the blue coins, so you have to look around like eight different versions of the same stage to figure out which one they're in. It's just crazy. Like, they could have at least added something to the level select screen to tell you which bit you got the blue coins in or something. I always found it weird how unpolished it felt compared to all the other Mario games. It's still a good game and it's got some really nice ideas and levels, but yeah, on the whole, definitely could have been a lot better. Yeah. Same for me, I, I really struggled to play Sunshine until they updated it. And I still struggle because they've separated the two triggers. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, got some extra life. What are we going to find up here? Okay, I think, I think something's changed here. We're adventuring. I don't know whether it actually registers the triggers properly, does it? If it does, that'd be really good, then I might actually play Sunshine HD. Because I just gave up because I just could not get, get my head... get my head around the controls. Although, to be honest, I didn't try Galaxy on the Switch either, so I don't really know how good that version was. Uh, I think we've already been here. We've already been here as well, but I think there was something stopping me at the end. Let's see what it was. Galaxy's great on the Switch. That's good. Yay, progress. <coughs> oh, to do the to do the spin. Yeah, that sounds better. Save. Well, Skittles, you've definitely saved this stream and my video that I've got planned. Because this is like, a million times better than all the other games. Oh, that music! Wow. Yes. This area's snow is based on RNG, that's interesting. It looks really nice as well, I like the fact that some are going straight, some are wavy. Some are kind of moving diagonally. Yeah, I think it was worth worth the frame rate hit. Yeah, it was definitely worth the frame rate hit. It's not unplayable. Cat! Oh, I feel bad for killing the cat. Heck yeah, random snow. Every game should have random snow.
I might try that later actually, see whether I can find my GameCube adapter to try playing Sunshine. I was thinking about playing it again recently, now that they'd fixed the inverted controls. It did give me a bit of a Celeste vibe, this did. Celeste Classic. Which I actually prefer over the main Celeste game, honestly. I like the simplicity of the original. I feel like uh, the grab in Celeste was kind of unnecessary and kind of slowed it down a bit. I haven't found anything yet. This is a big level. I'm going to get so lost when I have to come back here. Ow. Oh, there's a heart over there. I think I missed it. Oh, no, I got it. Yay. Life jar. Do I just end up back here again? <coughs> I need a map. When do I get the map? Okay, not that way. I like the animation on them. On the on the actual Game Boy, does that kind of look transparent? Oh no, he killed himself. All the items? Oh my god. Yeah, I need, I need to invest in some graph paper if I want to play this all the way through. Okay, we found something. There's something here. Ah! Oh my god, there's not enough room to jump over him. Aha, can I stand here and get him? Come on. Where are you? Oh my god, he's too fast. I'm dead. Uh. Yeah, got him. Woo. You know what would be cool? If it was like original Castlevania where it drops an orb after you defeat them and it fills your health back up. And then the number goes down. Maybe I'm asking for too much. But I think that would be cool. And it would also put your mind at ease a bit. So you don't just die from a little enemy on the other side. Yay! Super jump! I knew it was coming. Is there a reason why that one goes in your pocket instead of the other ones? I like that fight. Yeah, that was good. Whoa! Okay, wow, that really is a super jump. And a save point. Right there. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're a bit overly ambitious making all of this in GB Studio. I bet you literally maxed out everything the engine can do. That one's struggling a bit. Too many sprites on the line. Go up. Well, back where I was. Up here. This way? Ashta? Are you there? No, oh, you're not Ashta! It was a trick! It was a trick! Skittles killed me! It was a trap. I'm not gonna trust you now. 
Oh! Oh my god. I need health. Ah! Again! Give me health! Quick, give me, give me a shortcut. Give me a cheat cut. Cheat code. Top left corner. You can get help. I'm just gonna mash the sword. Top left of where? Of here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Close your eyes. This isn't happening. Top left of where? Of here? Don't just say yeah. When did I say that? Oh. I got a new attack. The long vertical room. Not this one. How come my guns changed to like a magic attack? Bug spray. Yeah, what is this? Donkey Kong 3? I think it looks cool. You could just say you've got the possibility of getting a different gun. Oh, it's changed back there. What about if I go back in here? Oh, it's fixed. So... Up here? Is this where you were trying to tell me to go? Oh, the graphics go on glitchy then if it doesn't pause. Because it ran out of memory, I suppose. Ah, hello! Hello there, what brings you to this planet, stranger? Oh, you've come to kill those monsters, haven't you? Sadly, many have tried and failed, but I get why you want to do that. Well, if you need assistance with anything, just come and find me. I'll be around this region for a bit. See ya. Howdy. Uh, what do I do? What is this place? Just passing by. I love the graphics. It's so cute. You did a, You did an amazing job, honestly. You can reach that elevator again. That's good. If you return to the surface, then you should be able to find... Oh, wait. I had a friend who used to live with me here a long time ago, but she was killed by the dark creatures when she went to flee this place. Hey, if you find where she was killed, the device she had could be very useful to you. Okay. What's this place? This whole planet is actually a fully functional spaceship. Cool. All right. I built it 10,000 years ago as a temporary refuge for the people and creatures on our old planet. The ship was designed... Designing? To, sus to sustain life in five different ecosystems. Each part of the planet serves an important purpose to keep the planet running smoothly. If you want to know more about how this place works, ask. Just passing by. Cool. I love I love the graphics. I love the attention to detail. There you go. You you can think of this as as me being an unofficial tester then. <laughs> I can step on her head. Why would I do that? Okay. Okay. Huh. Can I hit her? No. Is she reacting to me jumping on her as well? That's, that's cool. That's really nice attention to detail. I hope there's a fishing minigame. Ah! Why didn't she have an option to heal me? Oh, it's changed again! Again, it looks pretty cool though. Honestly, if that's all the bug does, I wouldn't worry about it. I feel like she should heal you as well. Or maybe it's just me being rubbish at games. Let's go and say hi again. I don't need to go through all the dialogue again, do I?
Yeah, because she seems like a good person, so she would probably, like, I don't know, give you a fish to eat or something. Okay, let's be more careful this time. Oh, we found a house! Awesome! This this feels like a, a cave story style thing too. Hey, she followed me. What's up? You can reach that elevator again. Oh, she's saying the same thing. Is that the same as well? If you wait at the bottom of here for 30 seconds... Down here? Can I interact with anything? What is that? Is that like a, a projector or a bed or something? Come on, let me heal. Surely I can lie down. Just stay still. What? In the middle? Okay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, I didn't expect that. What's gonna happen? Stay still long enough for me to take a picture of it. Oh, okay. It's going somewhere. Rosemaryproject.png Is that what the QR code did? <laughs> yeah, it's... So... I'm not quite sure what it's showing. It's like something in a tank. It took me to this. If you can see that through the glare. There's a bed! Can I sleep in it? Let me sleep! Let me go to sleep! Let me go to sleep! Let me go to sleep! Ah. I'm gonna ask her. Can I go to sleep now? No. Cool. That's a nice little... little addition. Although there wasn't anything to do in there. The bed serves a good purpose. Everything's so cryptic. What does it do? I'm gonna die on the way back down now, aren't I? Uh... <gasps> She's gone! Can I go fishing now? I wanna go fishing. Where's my fishing rod option? If I stay here 30 seconds, does she start fishing? When I play this on my own now, I'm just going to stand everywhere for 30 seconds, just in case something happens. Okay, that's a, that's a random reason for the bed. Which should be impossible. Have you done it without putting yourself there? Hey, there's another fishing spot. Life! Oh, I didn't even see what killed me then. Um. Where can I get health? I need health before I can go exploring. Is there a reason why the enemies don't drop any health?
not enough memory. Maybe instead of actually dropping something, you could get them to just film the health bar back up a little bit, randomly. Maybe just make it like... I don't know if you can make it sparkle, but... Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of stuck now because I saved at 1 HP and anything can kill me in one hit. Okay, so I've got to go this way. Yeah, I like them enemies. I can just walk underneath them. Ah, I found another one. Oh no, I'm stuck. What's the chances of me being able to kill this with, with one HP? Ah, oh, I was close. Right. Which way do I need to go to get to a health restore point then, from here? I love the music. Even just standing here, it's like, yeah, the music's so cool. Which way do I need to go? Left or right? In the vertical lane. Oh, his explosion glitch then. Right. In here. Ah! That's why I need health. Yeah, it seems like something different's glitching every time. Ah, oh, not again. Was it there, or was it further up? Okay. Right, we can get there this time. I know where I'm going now. I'm still scared, but I know where I'm going. In here. Ah! 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 No! <laughs> I swear these enemies weren't causing me any trouble before, but now I'm trying to get there. Okay, I'm staying on the floor. Oh god. Oh. I went too far. Not in here. Oh, in this room itself. Okay. I can see it. Ah, thank God. Okay. I'm going back to save now. 
I'm not going through that again. We did it! We did it, gang! We did it, gamers. I can't go back to save. God damn it. I can't get back! Why? Why did you lock it off? <laughs> I climb up there. You're cruel. I'm trapped, though. I disabled the jump. How can you tell whether it's enabled or not? Without trying it. I think it's back on. Oh yeah, it's working though. Save. Okay. Yeah, maybe change the outline of it to show that it's that it's selected or not. Or maybe have it crossed out when it's not selected. Because I'm guessing there's a reason that you'd want to turn it off. Or if there isn't a reason, just permanently enable it, because you can still do a small jump as well. So I don't really think you would have a reason to turn it off, would you? Unless there's a puzzle later on that needs it. Alright, let's try this again. I was about to say, I didn't even need to get any health back. Oh my god, he's taking a lot of hits. Hey. I don't know, I don't think there's any difference really between this jump and the other one. Let's try. That one's a bit slower, I guess. Yeah. Okay, it's slightly different. I don't really think there'd be a reason to use that over this one, though. Twenty-four left now. We're getting there. Slowly. I think I've made more progress in this than I ever did in Metroid 2. Yeah, yeah, Super Metroid did. It's not a bad thing. I think there should just be some way of seeing whether it's on or off. Maybe she should act as a save point as well. It kind of makes sense because it's like quite far away from the other save station. Make the snowman blush. Where's the snowman? Okay. What do I need to do? Just stare at him. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I guess there was no point in me coming here though. It looks like I should be able to jump up there. I don't know if anyone else thought that.
But yeah, that would be good, because that would make that house a save point as well, and then it would have a reason to be there. Hey, he's still blushing. He must have really liked staring at me. It never stops. Permanent blush enabled. Oh my. Oh cool, Starlight. Yeah, let me know when you get it hooked up whether it works or not. Save me the effort of trying to dig mine out. I think it's in the loft, so yeah. If you've got yours already, let me know whether it works. Right, do I need to go over there? Oh, no, it's just the fishing spot. Is this a new new location? I can't remember. Maybe I got here and died. Feels new. Oh, I don't know where to go now. Let's try down here first. Oh, we found something good. Hey, we found a save room. Hey, we got the snow again. We must be back back in the main area. No, I thought it might be. Does that mean you have to use the Z button? Uh, the afterthought button on the GameCube. Where am I? Oh, that's why it feels a bit empty. Oh, I don't think I can get in there yet. Oh, does it feel better than using the Switch controller anyway? Uh, so it doesn't understand the click when it fully gets pressed down. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we've found a lift again. But let's see what's on this side. I don't think we've been this way. No, this is new. Okay, we're back in the caves again. Or is this where we came from? Right, I can't remember. Ooh! Ah, oh, that's cool! Please tell me you get a power bomb later on and you can blow your way through one of these. That would be a nice homage. Give no answers. I'll take that as a yes then. Or do you mean to where I'm supposed to go? 
Life jar. You missed the trick there, not exploding one of the tunnels. Okay, this is somewhere else. I come once I can travel through power lines by the looks of it. Ah. Ah! Ah! No, all my new life I just got. God damn it. Power bomb. My favourite part of Metroid, of Super Metroid. Oh man, you made me want to play Super Metroid again though. I've played that too many times already, I should play something new. I played it the other week to capture some footage for my top SNES games video. I thought, oh, I want to play all the way through it again. Right, let's try going up. I'm getting loads of comments on my Hidden Gems video, that's cool. I'm looking forward to what other games people suggest. Yeah, I know that it must have been really frustrating for you with the memory limitations. I imagine... Uh, I think this is the way I came, so I might try and check out the other side. Ah! 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 Let me up! Might try and check out the other side, see if there's anything over there. Yeah, I wonder if developers at the time making games for Game Boy and Game Boy Color were were frustrated with the limitations as well. Oh, it's just a save room. Right, Skittles, just so I don't completely waste time, should I go back down there and try and find some more enemies or and items, or should I carry on up here on the surface? Let me know. Return to the ship. Okay. Hitting the extra button on the shoulder freezes Mario in place. Okay, that's that's good. Maybe it's not so bad then. I might try playing Sunshine. Maybe I can stream Sunshine, that might be fun. You can see me getting frustrated. I remember I I, I did play it a little bit on the Switch and I got really annoyed at the... Um, what are they call Not jellyfish. The manta rays that you, um, that you have to race on in the harbour. Man, there's, there was something really frustrating about that. I can't quite remember, but I remember... I think it's when you're collecting the red coins and you have to go around the bay. I kept falling off. I was getting really annoyed. Oh, have I found something? The music's kicking off. Ah, hello! Whoa, this is a big room. Damn, he moves too fast. I can't just stand behind him and keep hitting. Maybe the gun's easier. Yay! Yeah, the gun's probably easier because you can hit them from a distance, even if it does take longer. Hey, cool, we're back. Don't think I could fight that one later, though, because that's, like, in the middle of the path, right? <laughs> we're back outside. I can breathe again! It looks cool in the daylight. Yay! 
and full health. And now we have the long jump, or the high jump, we can go this way. Whoa, what's going on here? We're going to find Mother Brain. Creepy. Whoa, it suddenly sped up, I think. Because it's on a black background, I think the game's like, yeah, I can run a bit faster. Oh. Can I just go on that one? Yeah, that's easier. I'm scared. This is like Axiom Verge. Have you played Axiom Verge? I loved that when it came out. I haven't played the second one yet. I've got it. I've got the limited run version, but I haven't played it yet. I was kind of disappointed it didn't come with a Blu-ray like the first one did. I loved watching the making of on that one. Yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason I just wasn't that excited play Axiom Verge 2. I think because they changed it quite a lot, didn't they? It's a bit um, more puzzle focused, maybe? Is that an enemy? No. Nope. It just breathed at me. Uh, I think it was only Blu-ray. It, uh, it was a making of documentary for the first game. Where he went through like his design process and the inspiration behind all the environments and things. It was really cool. I wish more games came with behind the scenes stuff like that. No, not not the game. It was like um like a movie that came with it. I, I got the game on the Switch, so it came on the Switch cart. Am I supposed to be shooting these? Hey, my gun's changed colour. Is it meant to change colour? What's going on? Am I not meant to be here yet? It's the pallet. Okay, good. Oh, I let one touch me. Oh no. I don't know where I'm meant to be going. Just randomly explore and hope I'm going in the right direction. Hey, I remember this bit from one of the demos you sent me ages ago. Try and find where a friend died. I feel like I might be joining a friend. Ooh, life. Okay, good. That water doesn't kill me. For some reason, I don't trust this area at all. No, you tricked me again. Oh, the camera's frozen. Weird. Oh, sorry, I missed a follower as well. Thank you. Eric Wilder, hello. I don't know what's happened to my camera. Can you still hear me? I've been streaming too long.
Hmm. Camlink does not want to turn back on. That's a bit delayed. I only just got the noise for the follow as well. well thank you so much, Eric. I don't know what's happened. Your follow, your follow killed my webcam, apparently. I'll try and disconnect it and connect it again. Bear with me a sec. Right, it should be plugged in. Let's see if I switch back to full screen cam. Is anything there? No. Where have I gone? Let's try adding a new webcam. I didn't do anything for it to switch itself off. Hmm. No, it's just dead. Uh, what else can I do? I've tried unplugging the HDMI and plug it back in. Hey, whoa, whoa, okay. I'm back. For, I'm taking off, taking, off, taking up the entire screen. You can see my grey hairs. And I start here. Hello. <laughs> why, why am I so big? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back with a bang. You can just see the individual pores on my forehead. But the webcam is not working, but... This That's one is working, working, but it's, it's just massive. massive. What about if I try and scale this down? I'm coming back. Here I am. i got to remember what button it is to crop on here. Not that one. That one! There we go. Put me back in my little box where I belong. Ah, oh, it's really awkward to move things around on here. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly back in our box. Uh, wrong button. You can see how awkward it is. Got an echo as well. What the hell's going on? One thing at a time. Okay. Hello, hello. Ah. How about now? Is that back to normal? Setting a new webcam up had the audio coming from the camera. Is that just coming out of there? I think it is. Yay! Okay, I have no idea what happened there. OBS just threw a fit for some reason. But yes, Eric, thank you. I'm here now. You can see me. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, what else did I miss? Gion's heading off to bed. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, yeah, there is, there is a bit of a delay. Oh well. I was thinking of wrapping up soon anyway, so I'll probably just maybe do one more boss. And then we can call it a night. I've been going for three hours now, anyway. This game's called Repungent Bounty, and it is a game that Skittles made, if you missed that. So, he's actually here in the chat with us. How did you come up with a name? That's something I've always wondered. It's a very unique name. I've never heard anything like it, really. <clears throat> oh, we found a lift. And 
Eric, as you just joined, we did play through a few other games earlier. We played this one from Retro Room, which was really fun. Unfortunately, a lot of the other games weren't really that fun. There was this one, The Lossy Rush, which was like a drone racing game. And... Don't know where I put the other ones. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this one so far. Bounty because of Bounty Hunty, repugnant because I needed a word that sounded cool and described the story. Cool. It works. It's memorable. It sounds good. Yeah, you should you should be really proud of this, by the way. Considering, is this your first full game release? I know you said you've had ideas before that never really took off. Or you, you gave up on them and tweaked them into something else. Is this the first full game that you've released from start to finish? Yeah. Yeah, you should definitely be really proud of this. It's a it seems like a huge game as well, so it's a very very big accomplishment. Well done. First real thing. Well yeah, you're off to a good start. If you keep up this level of polish, I can see you becoming really big. For sure. Hey, we got something new. Interface unit. What does that do? Okay, it's not something to select. Whoa, what the hell is that? Do I have to... Oh, weird. You just beat Pete. Is that at the end of the first level? The giant piranha plant. Oh, that was her friend. What was her friend? Seven shines in. Two hundred and something to go. How many is there? Hundred and eighty? 220, something like that? I can't remember. But yeah, Skittles, you should definitely look at getting a publisher for this. Get it get it released on cart. Yeah, 100, 120. Yeah, that sounds right. I remember being disappointed by the final level. It's just a little boat ride through a volcano. I feel like Nintendo ran out of energy and time at the end. They kind of skimped out on the final stage. So... Oh, you did get a publisher. Excellent. I'm sure you and Incubate won't get on really well. I'm just guessing, by the way. <laughs> Nod once for yet right right three A's for yes. <laughs> Don't reply for no. <laughs> right, is that it for this area? Can I go now I pick that thing up? And found her friend. Who's a weird blue Ghost slash jellyfish. I meant to go down. Oh, that's what that's for. Okay. Right, I've got to remember what room that zip line thing was in. <coughs> Thanks for telling me that. I could have been going in completely the wrong direction. And I still am. Okay, I'm turning around. How bad's the delay on the audio compared to the camera? Is it okay? Or is it way off? I can't tell on OBS because everything's a little bit delayed. 
I've got so many different inputs for all the different things I wanted to try and record. Oh, it's fixed. That's alright then. What? Is it fixed or is it way off? I'll have to watch it back and see how bad it is. It looks alright. Maybe if I delete the old main camera one. That might speed it up a little bit. Am I collapsing time? Never mind. I'll fix it for next time. Okay, we're making progress. Thanks for telling me to go back down there. Oh! Was that meant to happen? I feel like I fell through the floor. Let me back up! I feel like that was a trick. There's got to be something hidden over here. Or I found an infinite hallway. Or... I'm going to hate this part. Oh no. Maybe I should just end the stream now. No, you haven't, have you? Oh, you've done that. Horrible. What What game do I hate where it does this? Mega Man 5 in um, Darkman's Castle. It wasn't that bad. Ooh, what have we got now? Engine power enabled. Okay. Quintet Chirgy. Oh man, Quintet! Whoa! Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. I'm not gonna run, I'm gonna fight him. Wait, when was the last time I saved? Ah. Oh god, that's scary. Oh, don't stop me, don't stop me! Ah! No, oh, leave me alone! Yeah, oh, I thought I tripped him then. Get back over there. Yes, get in there! Is he trapped? No! Stay back! <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh my god, that's a cool fight though, well done. Man. That was scary. Ooh, secret! I need to think about when I'm going to play through the quintet games. Um, soon, I really want to. I really want to get started on my proper quintet video. I've been writing it literally for like five years at this point. I don't know when to stop. I'll show you. Quintet documentary. Look at all those different chapters that I'm planning. And. A lot more than just a trilogy. Look at all of these games. I've still got a few more I want to get, but I want to talk about all of these. Now you can see why it's taking so long. Yeah, yeah. I've gone a bit insane with it. I've started writing the script. There you go. There's a sneak peek. Part one, final script. Founding members, the games they worked on before they before they joined. Seriously, it's going to be an insane video when it's released. Maybe split it up into different parts. I haven't decided yet, but man, it's taken a long time. I think I'm going way overboard with it, but I know it'll be worth it. It'll be like one of them things. I've been planning it for so long. It'll come out and it'll do really badly. I can see it happening already. All oh, right, this way. That's where a weird jellyfish friend was. Uh, 
But yeah, I should definitely think about streaming the games soon. Because I want to capture footage. And I've never actually finished Actraiser. Because of the stupid hard boss rush at the end. But we'll see whether I can actually do that. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm taking my time with it because I want it to be something really special. And I want to make sure it covers everything. Secret path. Secret path. Because there's a lot of other there's a lot of other videos about Quintet, but none of them um none of them cover even half of what I've got planned. Secret path, secret path. Where's the secret path? Is that a secret? Uh, I don't know if I'd call it patience with it. It's more like... Uh, oh, I've already got that. It's more like a passion project for me. And I just want to make sure it's perfect. You know, I don't want to half-heartedly release something and regret putting the effort in. Does that make any sense? I've already been here. But yeah, th this year, if I don't release it, at least I'm going to try... Um, I'm going to try and work hard on getting it ready. I'm also thinking about hiring an editor to tidy it up. To make sure it's like a really professional production. So that'll be cool. I can't remember where I was. Oh yeah, you talked about that video with Treasure before. Oh, here. Got it. I didn't recognise the room I was in underneath. I've got some other retrospectives planned as well, if you want to know. Don't expect them anytime soon, but I can tell you what, what, uh, what I've got written down. I have a Sonic Team 1 planned. And Klonoa, which I've been planning for a long time as well. Virgin Games. This one I want to try and do this year at some point. 70 Years of Taito. 70 Years of Arcade Fun. Uh... I've got I've got so many plans it's ridiculous. Have a quick quick peek at all them. There you go. That that's all you get in. Join me on Patreon if you want to see more. Wink wink. I love coming up with ideas. I do it all all the time. Whenever I'm bored at work I've always got note notes, Apple notes open. Just making new folders on there all the time. Dreaming about what I want to make. Am I going the right way? No, I've gone back on myself. I'm not paying attention anymore. I might call it a night soon because I've been going for three hours. I'm kind of tired. But I definitely want to carry this game on at some point. So whenever I play it again next, Skittles, I'll let you know as well. So you can join me for the next part of this. Um, yeah, so I might end it here because I'm getting kind of tired. But thanks everyone for stopping by. And thank you, for Skittles, for making this amazing game. I'm really, really impressed with what you've managed to do. And the, the size and the scale of it as well is pretty, pretty incredible. So, well done. Hope you're all looking forward to the video about the Game Boy games. And yeah, physical release, please. <laughs>
I would love to do a full video, full review on this game at some point. But yeah, that's it from me for now. Go and watch my new video if you didn't see it already because it came out a few hours ago. And I'm glad I'm feeling better and I'll be here on Twitch again very soon as well. So yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by. Have a good evening.